Good evening, friends. My name is the Reverend Andy Fyland, Chair of the Nottingham and Derby District. Throughout the month of October, we're spending Thursday evenings uh, in prayer together. This week, the third week of the month, we're focusing on Ignatius of Loyola. Ignatius of Loyola was a Spanish Catholic priest born in the Basque area of Spain. He founded the Order of the Society of Jesus. Born in 1491, he died in 1556. The prayer of St Ignatius of Loyola is a prayer of surrender to God's will. It expresses the desire to follow God completely and selflessly. So this evening, I'm going to lead us in a form of that prayer as we share together in the ending of the day. We pray. Come bless the Lord, all you his servants, who minister night by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. May the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, bless you from Zion. A version of the prayer of St Ignatius of Loyola uh, says this. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding and my entire will. All I have and call my own, you have given to me. To you, Lord, I return it. It is a prayer of surrender. Another version of the prayer, which is maybe more familiar, uh, says this. Teach us, good Lord, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not seek for rest, to labour and not ask for any reward, except that of knowing that we are doing your will. I myself use a version of the Ignatian prayer every night. The practice of the Ignatian prayer goes like this. We pause before God. We remember the day and give thanks for God's presence. We bring to mind in prayer encounters and conversations that the day has held. We seek God's blessing on those with whom we have shared the day and forgiveness for things that we have left undone. So now, in this time of prayer online, I invite us to pause in the quietness of God's presence, to recognise God's presence with you wherever you are, and to give thanks for the knowledge that God is with you. A moment to reflect. And now I invite you to gently bring to mind the encounters of the day and the conversations you have had, thanking God for the people with whom you spent the first moments today, whether that was in waking or at breakfast, or whether that was the first person you met this morning, wherever that might have been. Bring them to mind and give thanks to God. Continue through the day gently bringing to mind people who have been significant in your journey today. Through lunchtime, through the afternoon, through the evening, gently bring to mind those with whom you have spent this day, those you have met, the conversations which stay with you. A moment to reflect and pray. Having given thanks for God's presence and brought to mind the encounters and conversations of the day, I ask you now to pray to God that his blessing might rest upon those whom you have brought to mind with whom you have shared this day. And 
if there are things we have left undone, ignored or forgotten, ask God's forgiveness. now as the day is drawing towards an end and our time of prayer comes to a conclusion we seek the peace of god for the night that is before us let us pray O god in whom there is no darkness with whom the night is as the day enlighten us by your presence that waking or sleeping we may dwell in your peace, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so may the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest upon you this night. Rest upon those for whom you have prayed and rest upon all God's people. Amen. Our evening prayer is going to conclude with the singing of the evening hymn, Hail, gladdening light. And then I look forward to seeing you all next week online as we share prayer again on Thursday evening. God bless. Hey.